Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and you are watching New Light Pets. Today my fascinating little friend here named Maynard and I will be debunking five myths about snakes. There are a lot of stereotypes and just unfortunate stigmas tied to snakes and Maynard and I just want to break some of those stereotypes because in all reality snakes are not what they're made out to be and they are amazing creatures. So let's go ahead and get started with some of these ridiculous myths. Starting with number one, snakes are evil and aggressive. This whole concept really goes back to the whole story of the lady and the apple and the snake, but in reality Snakes really are not aggressive and they are not evil. They are not out to harm us and yes, some of them are dangerous and do have lethal bites, but when avoided, it's very uncommon that they will deliberately try and bite you. Snakes are solitary animals and they really just want nothing to do with human beings. Unless provoked, it's very, very rare that they will bite you. In fact, there are some really beneficial aspects to snakes. For example, they play a very important and beneficial role in the food pyramid. If you look at a species like a garter snake, for example, um, a lot of farmers or gardeners will call them garden snakes and friends of gardeners because they help eliminate pests that can be a serious problem for plants. Other species like timber rattlers help eliminate Lyme disease. The way that they do this is by eating the rodents that carry ticks. All right, myth number two, snakes are poisonous. Well, this one is more or less just the use of wrong verbiage. Some, not all, but some snakes are venomous, not poisonous. You may be wondering what is the difference? Well, the difference is if something is poisonous and you eat it or you inhale it or it touches your skin and harms or kills you, then it's considered poisonous. But venom, on the other hand, is when a toxin is injected into you either via a bite or a sting like from a wasp. Going with the venomous subject, we're going to go into myth number three that venomous snakes can be identified by their triangular heads and their vertical pupils. This is not true and there are in fact a lot of non-venomous snakes that do have vertical pupils and triangular shaped heads, so this is not a good identifier to rely on. In fact, the best way to identify a venomous snake... <laughs> what are you doing, Maynard? Are you trying to kiss me? Is to simply just know the snake and be able to identify it basically the same way that you would know your Uncle Joe is Uncle Joe. Therefore, it would take years and a lot of time of just getting to know the venomous species. I would recommend researching this, the venomous species in your area so that if you're out on a nature walk or something like that, you're able to know certain species to avoid contact with. You can also use other identifiers like certain color patterns and size, but really I think it really takes just simply knowing those species and if you're in doubt and you're unsure, leave the snake alone. Now for myth number four. Are snakes slimy? Are you slimy, Maynard? No, you are not. You are far, far, far from slimy. So snake scales, as you can see, do look shiny and they give the illusion of wetness, but they are not slimy at all. In fact, they are very dry to the touch. And now for our final and most ridiculous myth of them all, do snakes weight and size up their prey? Plain and simple, no. This is just a silly, silly urban legend. And in fact, this is physically impossible for them and just doesn't make sense for their nature. Snakes are naturally just opportunist hunters, so they're not planning out their meals. They eat their meal the moment that they see it, they take that opportunity. 
They don't wait around to get larger so that they can consume a larger prey item. And if you've heard the story about the snake refusing his meals so that he could size up his owner and eat her, also completely untrue. In fact, it's very, very unlikely for any snakes to eat human beings because it's quite a challenge if they were to try as we have wider shoulders, making this very difficult for them to consume a human being. There may have been one or two cases about a very, very large snake eating a very small person, but as I mentioned, it's highly unlikely and rarely ever something that happens. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you learned a few fun things today. And if you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We put out weekly videos about exotic pets. Hopefully this may have answered some questions you might have about snakes and maybe eliminated some fear. After all, there is a quote that says, the greatest anecdote to fear is knowledge. I'm not sure who said the quote, so if you know, mention it in the comments below. But I think that just really resonates so much, especially when it comes to snakes, because the more and more that I learn about them, the more amazing and magical they become. There was a time in my life where I was afraid of snakes, but here we are today and they are my absolute passion. With all that being said, you guys, I hope you have a great week and I will catch you guys at the next video.